working hard, had been warned by Heinz Kinnigadner, the boss of KTM, to take it easy, but I'm afraid he didn't. Also bad luck for another Meyer, this time Andrea Meyer there on the left, and she had an engine failure today with her BMW. So unfortunately, she had to wait for the support truck to arrive. Well, I think uh, serious engine problems. Back a little bit, he was in fourth, he's now into third. Juan Roma is the only man challenging those KTMs up front. He is on the twin-cylinder BMW, but he found the initial twisty part of the stage pretty difficult with that heavier twin-cylinder bike, and then couldn't really use the straight-line speed advantage later due to being caught in the other rider's dust. There really wasn't much way of uh, Earl Dupre on the BMW, and uh, he's running well, but bad news for his teammate Jimmy Lewis, who the fastest over today's stage. But as you can see, most of the lead riders decided to ride together today, perhaps just to keep an eye on one another. John Deacon uh, at other, uh, it was very easy to get it wrong. Just what decided he had to go back down the dune in the opposite direction if he was to be able to go back up it in the correct direction again. Just gives you an idea how difficult it is even for the very he's had all sorts of bad luck all sorts of problems but today it was a good one for john we saw him yesterday and he was pretty happy about these stages and he certainly seemed to go well throughout the course of today well over five hours in the salad in the in the saddle rather than the salad for the uh, top riders and the slower riders of course taking all that much longer than that now at one of the refueling stops here for the bikes and the clock doesn't stop well, while they get refueled, so it's a real race to refuel as quickly as possible. Everybody rushing at this self-service petrol station in the middle of the desert, and then leaping back on the bikes to get going again. There's Jordi Archerons, who seems to be the first of the group to get away. A few problems for Giovanni Sala starting. Fabrizio Mioni getting soft sand today. Quite dusty too, and... Some of the engines running a little rich with the air filters being clogged up by all the sand that's kicked up, this very dry sand that's kicked up by the competitors ahead. Well, the dust and sand can cause problems, and it did for this man, Juan Roma. Richard Sankt had a little moment ahead of him. Roma was not going that quickly when it all went wrong for him, and suddenly the front wheel just disappeared down. So you all enjoying it. Here's John Deacon, and John had a reasonable day today, sixth fastest. He's still in eighth place overall. BMW only learned yesterday that their appeal against the 30-minute penalty that he was given early in the rally had been chucked out, so uh, he didn't get the 30 minutes back, I'm afraid. So, uh, in the overall order, 20th place. So, simple solution. The wheel swapped over from Salas to De Gavados. Salas there on the right, giving De Gavados as much help as possible. And this is the sort of KTM teamwork that perhaps we haven't always seen in the past, but is really helping them this time. Pegunna Lundmark, the Swedish rider, still running. Eighth fastest today, but after the problems with his chain the other day, he's 29th overall. And Francois Flick, for me, the rest day tomorrow, we could have changed the engine. Seven K KTMs, he says. And mine was the one that broke. Well, even good riders, experienced, but taking tumbles. Part of being fit and a top-class rider, of course, is you avoid the injuries that others less well suited to this terrain can't avoid. You bounce if you're fit. If you're not, watch out. I've broken my foot, he said. Kishil, they'll keep on the Honda. His Dakar over, others well and truly still in this race. Would have been a great day for BMW and had Sil Despre managed to stay aboard, was going very well, then fell twice, 30 kilometers from the end. Fourth place, John Deacon on another BMW, gave some of his fuel to Lundmark, totally on his own, he said, for 580 kilometers today. Couldn't see the road book at times. It was tough. Jimmy Lewis agreed. He said at times he couldn't see the hand in front of his face. He has wrist problems, as we well know. Sprained a wrist earlier in the deck. 
And America's Johnny Campbell, the highest placed on the 11th on the stage. He's eighth. His last night, by his own admission, said he was a little thirsty. Didn't seem to do him any harm whatsoever. John Deacon, well, he thought he'd won the day when he caught a leading group of KTM riders. Then did a head count and realised too late that one man was missing. Tiena was out there. Deacon was on his tail, but it was too late. Deacon taking a few spills today, as you can see in the camel grass, and perhaps that was the difference between them. Deacon finishing 14 minutes and 32 seconds behind TNN's winning time. Good old job, loves his BM, and it served him well. Heavy crash yesterday when the bike actually landed on top of him. He shook that, ninth on the stage, fourth overall behind Digavado. Jimmy Lewis on the BM, wrist still hurting, he said, and not looking forward to the long stay. Head of Esteve Puyol, Cox in fifth place. Jimmy Lewis, the highest placed BMW, still with a damaged wrist, which is holding him back. Small mistake, uh, as you can see from my bike. Uh, it was a little bit of a lift off on a corner, the whole rally. Same machine that he won the Atlas Rally 2000, young French star on the rise. Watch for him next. So this is how they finish stage 18, Desprey in the BMW for once, getting the better of the KTMs. Sala Cox and Archerons with Brucey coming in close behind. Mioni not much further adrift. Mioni now leads Archerons by 22 minutes and 4 seconds. Expect the 1-2-3.